What's up guys? In this video I'm gonna show you how to make a portable spot welding machine from an old microwave transformer and other scrap materials. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day so far. So the first core element of a spot welder is a powerful transformer which we're gonna need to modify and replace a primary coil with this 5 to 10 mm thick copper cable. I clamped the transformer into the Ys and used an angle grinder to cut through the welds and then with a chisel lift the bottom part of the transformer. After that I removed both coils from the steel core and try to be extremely careful when removing the first one because we're gonna still need it later on. As you can see when I punch the secondary coil out my core separates but that's not such big of a deal, just carefully hammer back down the primary winding and that's it. Now let's use our thick cable as a new secondary coil, but this time we're gonna do just one revolution which gonna lower the output voltage and increase the amperage up to 100 amps. After that I weld the cap back on and we are ready to test it out. So I connect the transformer to a 212 volts and holy shit this thing is actually really powerful. It took just a few seconds to make that nail red hot and another thing I found is that this transformer produces some familiar sound. Now let's continue with making the enclosure for the transformer. I used some 4mm thick plywood, cut it down to a needed length and drilled some holes for the switch and wires. And yeah, while we're working on the enclosure, I leave my new printer to make a handle and legs for the spot welder. Just to mention that Gearbest sent me this printer for free and I'm really satisfied with the overall quality of all prints, but I'll get into that more in another video. So all parts are waiting, I'm gonna make the case and you try to enjoy that edit as much as possible. Talk to you soon. Welcome back guys, so last thing is to make some copper tips and I found the best way to do it is by getting a tip profile plug from a home improvement store and drill two holes for the screw that are gonna hold the main copper tip in place. Then I press the plug hardly in the vise and that's it. I also cut a few centimeter long copper rod, make a chamfer on one end, secure it into the plug with two screws and the spot welder is finished. And yeah, by the way, just listen to this and spot the difference. <laughs> now you know what I'm saying. Let's try to melt and weld a few things together. Another very useful option will be to make a stationary spot welder like this one and it's even easier to weld together some small parts like these washers and some small chunks of sheet metal. That's all for today, thank you for staying till the end, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and I can guarantee you that lots of cool stuff is coming up, so smash that big red button and I'll talk to you next time.
Peace.